the next letter. Are you awake? Now you have to yell it this time. You have yeah. to yell it if you want a ticket. Wow. The next letter is G. Gum. Gum. Glasses. Okay, glasses. Okay, and then right there in the back. That's okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I really want to give you the ticket. All right. G stands for getting started. And what I want to know is how many new jewelers have not had their training show yet? Okay, and how many have had their training show and are within their first six, you haven't had your first six or nine shows for your quick start, not yet. Okay, how many of you new jewelers in here have already completed quick start and you're on now to your like 10th or 11th show? Okay, so we have a little bit of everything, but what we're gonna do here is we wanna be able to tell you, we, the first thing you do is you pick your training show date. And you don't wait for your training show date to start getting bookings. And now yes, your sponsor is going to do your training show for you. She is going to teach you how to do that show. And she is going to do a real good job at a booking activity and try to get those bookings for you <coughs> and with you. But what typically happens is say your training show was October 1st. I don't know why, and we're going to change this, but I don't know why a lot of people think that they have, they think it's like planning a wedding or a graduation party. They think they need three to four weeks advance notice to have a jewelry show. And so typically, they're going to go out a little bit. After your training show, you want to be able to do shows right away. Because you've, you've just done it, and you want to, it, it's just easier. Trust me, it's easier to do two shows a week than it is two shows a month. It just plain is easier, because you get in a rhythm, and you get used to it. And so in order to get those shows in the beginning, what we would like you to do is you're going to start with your friends and family to help you get started. And I'm going to have Amy actually role play. It's, you, you probably have this from your sponsor already. It's called Penny Lacey's How to Get Bookings for Your New Business. And most likely your sponsor either gave this to you or if she has it, she will. And you can ask her for it because everyone pretty much has it. But I'm going to, I'm going to have Amy role play this so you can hear the verbiage. And it's all printed up so you don't have to scribble. I want you to listen to what she's saying and absorb it because this is all scripted for you. So take it away, Amy. Mia. 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 I'm going to call you. Okay? Call me? Yeah, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Mia, it's Amy. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Hey, I hope I'm not catching you at a bad time. <laughs> I will keep you, but just a minute, Mia. You know, I'm... that's about all I have is a minute. Okay, perfect. Because I'm... I'm right about to go into a job right now. Well, I have a huge favor to ask you. Sure. And I really need your help. Do you want me to give you a call back in a little bit? No, I have a couple minutes. Okay. Um, I'm starting this new business to help us make some extra money. See, Vince left his uh, police career, and we took a huge pay cut, so now I'm trying to do something to help me stay at home. Have you heard of Premier Designs? No, I haven't. You know what? I am now a Premier Jewelry Girl. It's a beautiful jewelry. It's got a great guarantee. And Mia, here's where I really need your help. I need two friends that will help me in my first week of business. All that means is that you're going to allow me to come over, set up the jewelry on your kitchen table, invite a few friends over for coffee. Will you be one of my friends that helps get me going? Absolutely. Oh, gosh, Mia, that's awesome. And you know what? I'm going to be able to give you a lot of free jewelry for helping me. The average hostess gets about 100 to 300 in free jewelry. It's no big deal. Thank you so much. Hey, you know what? Do you have a second to look at your calendar? I do. Okay. What about next blah, blah, blah? <laughs> you know what? That sounds great. Okay, fantastic. Awesome. Thanks. You know what? I'll call you later tonight. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Mia. I wish people would really do that for me because I used to, before I did premiere, uh -huh. I would have girls that worked for me on my regular business yeah. that were looking for extra money. They would do candlelight, all this. I'd always have shows. Yeah. And Let me tell you the trick. Thinks it's a hassle. Well, and that's we're going to teach you that. Yeah. Wow. Let me tell you. Did you hear what she said? First of all, she's calling people. In the beginning, you're, you're not calling complete strangers. You're calling people that you know. Um, you know, maybe somebody from school, um, you know, old friends, maybe somebody that you haven't seen in a while, maybe an old high school friend. But did you hear what she said? Will you do me a favor? That's key. Mm -hmm. Will you do me a favor? The other thing that she said was she gave a why. It wasn't just, can you do me a favor? She said, gosh, Vince lost his job. I'm trying to make some extra money. Okay, what friend or family member, when you tell them, can you do me a favor, and if you tell them why, generally they're going to say yes. If you just call up and say, you know, I started this business and I want to get some new, in, how, how would you like to get some new jewelry, and you're, you know what I mean, and you're just kind of, you're sounding like a telemarketer, you know what I mean, 
You want to sound warm and natural, and you want to be honest and tell them why you want some jewelry. Do me a favor. This is why. Does that does that make sense? But what if you don't have a reason, like a losing of a job? Well, there's always just, a reason. I was just gonna. Because somebody over here had said it was a fun job. Who? Yes. Okay. That it's a fun job. Then your why would be, hey, I just started doing this this um, premier designs jewelry business just for something really fun to get me out of the house to help me meet more women. There's always a why. Oh, and that's no. why we asked you in the beginning, what is your why? Don't make one up. Why are you in this business? And so that is the favor, and that is what you're going to tell your friends. Because you, you, you don't want to make one up. You want to be honest. Everybody has a reason for being into for career. Everybody has some reason of why you're here. Now, Penny Lacey is, she used to be a jeweler for, what, 17, 18 years, 20 years. Penny Lacey was a jeweler, just like the rest of us. She is now working in the home office as director of marketing, and this is her verbiage. So when we talk about Penny Lacey, that's who she is, so you know she's really good, and she knows what we need out in the field. This is on our, is it on the website? Yeah, we also have on the jump drive. Yeah, we have on the jump drive, yeah. Yeah, so. And you know what? We're not going to continue role playing, but on there also, if she says, what happens if she says no? You know, there's always plan B and there's always plan C. Because your friends want to help you, right? They're your, they're your family, they're your friends, or people who love you. So plan B could just be, um, you might want to schedule, did, any, did anybody schedule their practice show? You got your training show set up, and we always say set up a practice show. Does anybody know what that practice show means? This is, no? Okay, this is really, really what you should do, especially if you have not had your training show yet. If your training show is like, like say it's Thursday, you want to set up a practice show on Tuesday. And so what you're going to say is, if they say that they can't come to your show, you can say, oh, that's okay. Um, I'm so bummed you're going to miss it, but you know what? Would you come to my practice show? Because I have to just practice. It is still a show. It's at your house. It's another show. It's your first one. And guess what? You're going to say, I'm going to do a drawing, and, 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 and you could win some free jewelry. Because basically, it's going to be a mystery hostess. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Your sponsor will tell you about it. But talk to her about setting up a practice show. And the key thing for setting up a practice show is just like we tell our hostesses, one in four people are going to show up. Same with our training shows. Not everybody's going to be able to make it because there's, there's religious education, there's soccer, there's baseball, there's all these other things going on. So if you're calling to invite them to your training show and they can't make it because of obligations, don't take it personally. Say, you know what? Come to my practice show. Same thing like when you're calling to get shows on your calendar and they say, oh my gosh, I'm going to be out of town next week. I'm not able to. Instead of going, oh, boo me, this is awful, nobody wants to do a show. Don't take it personal. Say, well, you know what, Mia, that's okay because I need two more friends to do a show the following week. Are you available the following <laughs> week? And if she says, oh, no, I'm still going to be out of town, not getting back until blah, 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 say, that's okay because I need two friends to do it that's that following week. And so you don't let them hang up until they get you get on the right. <laughs> We always say work it like a doctor's office. Yeah. You don't, when, when a doctor's or a dentist's office calls you, you know, and you're making an appointment, they don't say, when do you want to come in? They tell you the next available appointment. Mm -hmm. And so that's how you want to be able to work your business. And then, you know, if that doesn't happen, guess what? Then you can do plan C and you can say, oh, you know, I'm so sorry you're not going to be able to make either one of those, um, but would you um, <coughs> do me a favor and is there anybody of your friends that, that you know, loves to be able to, to get free jewelry maybe that, you know, you could give me a referral. So there's always, your friends and family, use them. That's how you get shows in the beginning. And then after that, you are going to want to do two things. You're going to want to learn these words. Replace a show with a show next month. A lot of the veteran jewelers understand that. Replace a show with a show next month. Everybody means, say that out loud. Now, what that means is, and this is really important, I want you to understand that. Amy's going to be role playing a little bit an actual show. And she's going to show you a booking activity and how to get bookings and at checkout how to get bookings. And she's going to role play that. But what happens is, the rule is, if Amy has a show, and she gets zero bookings at all. She has homework because replace this show with a show. Now let's say that she, she did get a bunch of bookings, but you always want to try to get one in that next month. We said work it like a doctor's office. So you know what? We're not going to dwell on that. Just if you have that in your mind, you will never run out of a business. You will never run out of a business. So how do you, how do you get bookings? I want you to read your jeweler's handbook. Has anybody read that book? Has anybody not read that book? You know what? 
read it. It's got awesome ways to book. You can book at shows. So during the show, you can get bookings. And let me tell you something. There's a hostess plan, which creates the need. And we're going to show you that in a little bit. And a booking activity brings people to a point of decision. Let me give you an example. Say that you're over at my house, and I had just baked some chocolate chip cookies. You could even smell it. You could, just, you could just smell it. They're so yummy. And they're sitting on the table over there. And you come up, and I say, oh, Jean, I just made the best. I have a new recipe, and I have just made the best chocolate chip cookies. They are so yummy. And I stopped. And I just went on with something. What, what, am I, what, what did I not do? Didn't offer it to her. Hello? I didn't even offer it to her. So basically, I'm going to say, Jean, I made some awesome cookies. You're going to so love them. Would you like one? Do you see the difference? That's natural. If you have something good, you're going to offer it, right? And that is what the hostess plan is. It's something really good, and the booking activity is, oh, I'm going to offer it to you. So if you got something good, it's just selfish not to offer it, and we're going to teach you. We're going to teach you the difference. There's a hostess plan and a booking activity, and you just need to know the difference between those. So get your purses out, your bags out for the next letter.